I'm probably going to finish this probably I think within the next hour because I just have this one side and then I'm done and then I'm going to be on to my next project.
Well, I was gonna do a portrait with um, china dishes and like pottery, but I don't have everything I need for it. So I think instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do um, like a picture, a wall hanging instead and then this week I'll probably try to get what I need to do the portrait using all the china and everything. I have some china pieces but I don't have enough. I really what I should have done is went to some garage sales or estate sales this week weekend. But I didn't. I'll probably go to some thrift stores. I think I have some of my own, like from my, um, from my mom. I have to be careful with what I'm using because I don't want to regret afterwards that I broke something that I kind of wanted for a keepsake. Although, if I keep the piece rather than sell it, then it'll be a really cool keepsake. I've actually done um, something using dishes that were from my mom and from growing up, but I did it uh, like, in a, like over a, a window, I did like a, a, I'm trying to think what the word is, it's like escaping me, but it was a decorative, I noticed that chat overlay is going on the video, I don't even know what that means, what does that mean? Never mind. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is the music really loud? Because I feel like I'm yelling over it. Okay, good. Yeah, so I did um, this decorative border using uh, plates and pull your mic closer. Yeah, but I don't like to do that because then I hit it usually. Never needed you like I do right now. Anyways. And I used dishes from when I was growing up, but then I sold the house. So that's what I'm saying. I don't want to make something using keepsakes, and then I don't have it anymore. It's better? Okay. Well, I have a cord wrapped around my light here, so if I pull it anymore, I'm going to have a big disaster. So this is it. It's all I can go for now until I rearrange everything over there. To me, say goodbyes. Love you like Jesus Christ.
So I was thinking of doing a portrait, but I don't know if it's going to be of a person or I was going to do one of my my poodle that that died last year. Just like a memoriam of him using um, really raining it's pouring um, using China but I'd have to find black and white it doesn't have to all be black it could be more whimsical too Sounds nice with the rain hitting on the tin roof. I guess it's not tin, it's metal. I was gonna do one for all all of my pets, but I mean, even when they're alive, <laughs> not gonna wait for them to die to do it. Or even stepping stones with them on it. So right now I'm just working on the background. I'm going to finish it around this sunflower and then I'm going to finish the rest of this side um, of my totem pole for the garden. And it down. I can have you here with me. And this is just um, some red cathedral stained glass. And I buy it by the sheet. I buy like smaller sheets. I don't buy like the really big sheets that you can get. And then I'm just using these uh, glass snippers. They're wheeled glass snippers. The wheels don't move. You can move them as they dull down and you just kind of turn them with a Allen key so you get the sharper side. And they're made out of uh, carbide so they get a nice clean nip. And then I'm just nipping away at the glass. Um, I like to do triangles. Well, kind of triangles. They're like they're not perfect triangles. And then I just fit them in. And then I just eye the the space to determine, you know, how to cut it to fit. Sometimes I get like right on. Sometimes I have to modify it a bit. Or 
I just move it to the next place that I see will fit, like a jigsaw puzzle. Baby tonight, baby tonight, for the fire all alone, you and I. And then once I'm done all sides, I will um, grout it with a non-sanded grout. And the reason you use a non-sanded is because this is uh, glass, stained glass. And if it's sanded, it would scratch the glass as you're, you know, rubbing the grout in between the, the little crevices. And the non-sanded is more like a smooth paste. So it just, you know, brushes over and into the cracks. And then you leave the grout to um, cure at least 24 hours. Sometimes it's better to, depending on the weather. If it's humid out, you might want to let it cure for at least 48 hours. And then you seal it with a grout sealant so that it protects it from fading and if it gets wet it doesn't you know go in and lift the grout eventually or the sun breaks it down and this is um gonna go outside it's a garden to totem pole so Something like this, you would probably want to seal the grout once a year so it can just withstand all the elements. No matter how far You want to make sure that you use enough adhesive that it will truly stay there and it's not just kind of hanging on because when you grout it, if it's really not secured, it will come up. Then you'll have a hole and you can fix it. It's a disastrous mess because once you have the grout and then you put glue, let me tell you, not fun. Because I've done it. <laughs> Things like that I don't have patience for. I can do this all day, fill around with these little pieces. I could care less about this. This is like very calming to me and soothing. Sometimes I'll get like completely like so zoned in. I don't see anything around me. I'm just like just relaxing. It's probably my type of meditation, truthfully.
This is getting really heavy um, because of the glass. Now the post is, uh, I'm just gonna get this piece of uh, glue that kind of, I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. Yeah, it went flying. <laughs> um, this is a, what do you call it? It's a deck post and it's pressure treated. And it's about five feet tall. I just got it at the, I don't know if I got it, I got it at Home Depot. But I mean, they have them at all hardware stores. I think they're about, I don't know, $14 or something. This one I really liked because it has, I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but it has like this imperfection in it. So it's kind of like rustic, you know? I just need to go turn this air conditioning a little warmer. I'm freezing. It was supposed to be nice and sunny. Well, not nice and sunny because it was going to be really hot. It was supposed to be sunny all day. And then it was supposed to rain later in the evening. But they were wrong. But I think the sun might come out now. I can see. And if it does, it's going to be so humid. Because everything is really wet. It's going to be very tropical out there. Cut myself on my wrist here. When you make a, when you have a large piece like this, and then I'm constantly moving it, it's kind of sharp until you get the grout in, and then that, you know, makes these sharp pieces. It covers them up. Show me how I feel.
to this thing is no good. Where's... It's like... It's in my way. I feel like somebody's sticking something in my face constantly. We have to figure that out. I don't like where it's at.
And I gave you my soul Oh, we tried to kill the pain And heal these scars But now love has had its say Just goes to show our love isn't fair. Tomorrow's never promised, only yesterday is a guarantee. And if I'm being honest, yes, baby, that's the only thing that can. We gotta find peace of mind and understand that maybe we never can. So, so actually, I need to make this uh, straight, and then I'm gonna carry through that checker that's on either side. Good thing I was paying attention. I would have messed it up. Sometimes it's hard to see that some things just won't be.
So what I'm gonna do now is um, black. This is a a black iridescent. Better if I put two together, you'll see it. See how it kind of shimmers in the light. On the other side, it's a clear black, a shiny black. And then I'm gonna also use iridescent white. Just so I'm gonna alternate them and I cut them into a probably what is that like a half inch rectangle and then I just matching it up to the this side where I would I ended with white so now I'm just gonna start with the black so tall. What I'm going to do is just cut some of the bottom off here so it sits better. And this um, adhesive, it dries clear, so all this messy white stuff you won't see when it's dried up. summer so far which is kind of abnormal I know it's well it's only been summer here supposedly for what eight days or something like that but our summers start in March usually and they don't end until the end of November But it's been raining a lot, which is good and bad. It's good because it doesn't get over a hundred every day. 
But then the grass kind of grows a lot. So you have to cut that. the bottom off.
down. And this is one heavy. I need more light over here. I know she can't see really well. I don't know if this will make a difference. It's better, right? Okay. So now I'm just going to do a little red and then I'm going to do some more um, flowers and whatever. You like that living easy? Can you see that here more because I put the light on it? So I get some water here. Hang on. Oh yeah, you can see it better good. done this piece it's gonna be time to clean up this disaster man holy cow there's so much broken glass and slivers and shards and everything it's kind of like a death trap
with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. And you can smile, every smile for the man who held your hand beneath the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home. And who's you gonna be? So, darling, say the last dance. Forget who's taking you home And in his arms you're gonna be going on I'm hungry again I didn't eat very long ago what time is it maybe like what two hours ago I think I'm starving maybe drink some water maybe that'll fill me up I don't think it dropped I think people just left <laughs> I got bored. They're like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> they all left at once. They're like, yawn. That's okay. I'll be here when they want to come back.
I need some weight. Hang on. You have to walk around to get the weight. I'm just going to make some petals for this flower, do like a, a kind of like a daisy that's kind of getting to the last stages, you know, of its growth, and when they kind of droop their leaves.
I think I'm going to have to turn this around. It's probably going to fall off the edge of the table. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> and I don't want to cut myself.
Pretty full. Pretty full. Do some leaves. Make this a little bit longer here. Bit of my
I need to angle it up, so I'm trying to... Because it can't stick over the uh, edge. There. Alright, so now I'm going to... I have to move it up again. Oh my god, this thing is freaking heavy. Okay. Do some 
background here so I don't have to keep moving this back and forth.
It's gonna kill me. It's already starting. It's just extremely awkward. I think it's too wet to tilt it. I'm gonna try.
And since this is our last day together, I want to hold you just one more time. When you turn and walk away,
This way for a while.
What's your deal? Be hit. Hello, a real cupcake. How are you? Yeah, you 
Bouncing around, yeah? Seeing what's going on with everyone? You might have found something you really like, huh? down again. Oh my, is this thing getting weighted down? Holy cow. Holy cow. Thinner. Oh, can't sleep when you're out. 